Ready, go. Alrighty, guys. Uh, welcome. Um, bit of a casual kind of reflective video today. It's uh, I'm here on the top of North Brother Mountain in Lauriton, which is like brings back a lot of memories for me. The reason it brings back a lot of memories for me is we're currently about 1,600 feet above sea level, and um, at this height, that's kind of where I used to jump out static line uh, when I was in the army. But anyway. Um, it is a little bit windy, so hopefully you guys can hear me. Hopefully this microphone's doing a good job, but I thought I'd go for a walk today. Uh, some nice walks up here. I actually turned 35 today. It's my birthday here in Australia. Uh, it's not my birthday in the US right now, because you guys are still, still on the 29th. But anyway, it is the 30th of April here in Australia, which means it's my birthday. And it also means that I'm approaching a particular milestone in arm wrestling um, and the particular milestone that I'm referring to is that I am almost completed I've almost completed my seventh year in the sport um, time kind of gets away from me and I I, I kind of lose track of exactly how long I've been in this sport but I've been in this sport I started this sport in July of 2013 that was when I got my table my dad made me a table in July of 2013 and that was really when it began I I think I actually discovered the sport uh, and was interested in it but never had the opportunity to actually get into it so since July of 2013 a bit into the sport but I think I've known of the sport for pretty much seven years um, now and so I just wanted to kind of reflect as I walk through I'm going down to this rainforest walk at the moment um, just wanted to reflect on what it's been like seven years um, how that journey has evolved me as an arm wrestler and the I guess the pathway that it's that it's led me on it's been a pretty cool one so I just wanted to kind of reflect on that so for me the sport started something that like many of us i was i was someone who loved arm wrestling but didn't know that it actually existed as a professional sport i used to arm wrestle my friends um was undefeated kind of growing up as a kid um with the exception there was one kid in high school who was actually younger than me who beat me and i remember his name jimmy coleman uh he was amazing <laughs> he was amazing anyway um so i always loved arm wrestling growing up it was it was awesome but i had no idea it was a it was a thing um i was chasing the concept as a kid of being a professional sports person never quite made it i wanted to be a professional tennis player um, i got pretty highly ranked in the junior ranks and when i finished school i had to choose between continuing the pursuit of professional tennis and or getting a job and so i chose to get a job i joined the army and kind of said goodbye to the dream of chasing professional sports um ooh, we've got some slippery pathways here but anyway don't mind me so i said goodbye to ch chasing the the dream of professional sports went and joined the military did that um got out of the military seven years later and uh opened up my own supplement store now when i opened up my own supplement store my wholesale distributor used to come to my store once a month with all the product and one of the months um he challenged me to an arm wrestle and naturally being the kid that always grew up loving arm wrestling i was like hell yeah let's throw it down but this guy had a strong hand and wrist on him he was a, a martial artist and uh he'd been national level kickboxer um, national champion a few times and he kicked my ass basically and uh with him kicking my ass i said to him as he left the store that i was going to beat him next time he came back um, next month and I also said to him I would never lose to him again so that was funny a funny moment but a very critical moment because from that moment uh, he left he chuckled as he left the store because he kicked my ass and I immediately jumped onto the internet Google and started researching arm wrestling and um, in the process of doing that I discovered this whole world that I didn't know existed um, the Australian Arm Wrestling Federation had just been formed the year before and the, the, the national champion was 
a guy named Ryan Phillips who was from the background of strongman and shot put. Um, he was the national champion and I also looked internationally and started just discovering this whole world of arm wrestling. The amount of videos out there on YouTube at that time were pretty limited but there was enough that I was seeing highlights reels of John Brzezank. I watched watch Pulling John and um, seeing Travis and Alexi and Saplankov and all these kind of people and I'm thinking oh my goodness there's this whole world that um, exists that I had no idea about. And the most interesting thing about that, that time in research there, was that I discovered that the average age of people in the sport at the professional level, and more importantly, at the world champion level, was quite old. I figured the average age of world champions at that time from my research seemed to be about 40 years old. And so straight away I realized and had the thought that I hadn't yet missed the boat on becoming an athlete. It's always what I wanted to do in life with tennis. I didn't. Um, so then I went all in on arm wrestling. And that was, almost, that was pretty much seven years ago today. And um, the journey since then has been a really, really enjoyable one. Oh, whoa, slippery rocks. Really, really enjoyable one. I went all in from day one. As soon as I discovered that, I literally, I think I rang my parents and told them about it and said, look, I'm going all in on arm wrestling. I went home. Um, I told my wife and kids at the time that, look, I'm going all in on arm wrestling. And, and I did, I really did. From that moment forward, I went all in. And um, I kind of put myself out there a lot. I had said I wanted to become a national champion and, and a lot of people were like, hang on, who's this skinny redhead dude? Um, I won my first tournament um, in the 80 kilo division. I won that on the right arm. Um, and I really fell in love with the sport. I really did fall in love with it. All the cliches are true. Um, I sit now, seven years later, with arm wrestling being my career. It's what I do for a living. I travel uh, to events. I'm honored to be part of the World Arm Wrestling League. I get to go and compete in places like the Zloty Tour. Um, all these things I get to do. Uh, I never would have dreamt that I would have had people like John Brzezank, this is a good friend, Devin Larratt, Travis Bajan, Todd Hutchins, all these legends of the sport out of North America that are now just genuinely good friends. And um, I never would have dreamt that that would have been possible. But honestly, the, the way that that happened was because I loved arm wrestling so much that I wanted to work out how to make it a career. And the whole purpose of this YouTube channel was two, on two fronts. Um, when I created this YouTube channel, uh, I had no idea what the pathway was going to be to actually turning this sport into a career. Um, if you go back and look at my very, very first and early days YouTube videos, it kind of talks about, hey guys, here's my goals. I have no idea how I'm going to get there, but I'm going to bring you guys along for the ride. And um, if I do get there, it'll leave a bit of a blueprint. So seven years in now, I feel like I'm actually a long way past the goals that I originally gave myself. I've gone past the national champion. Um, I'm now in the pro level on an international standard. Um, and the networking within the sport has been phenomenal. And the, the generosity from the arm wrestling community and the fans on YouTube has been phenomenal. And it's led to just so many different things to me. So this has become a career first and foremost because I loved arm wrestling and what that meant was that I was working a job at the time working full-time in my supplement store and instead of going to the to the pub or going to a bar or watching football or watching movies or anything else like that in all of my spare time and recreational time I genuinely loved and was excited about arm wrestling and not only arm wrestling, but creating videos about arm wrestling. Even though I had no credibility, I just did it. Um, I just made videos about arm wrestling and I loved it and I had so much fun. And through the process of having so much fun like that, I slowly made the YouTube channel better and I gradually became a better arm wrestler myself. And it was about five years into that journey that it all started to come together. Um, 
the first five years of YouTube, I made $34. Uh, and <laughs> you're certainly not gonna call that a career, making $34 in five years. But since then, once my arm wrestling got to a level where it was relevant, and also my commentary of the sport, uh, my networking in the sport, all those things suddenly got to a point that was relevant. And, and that happened just because I love the sport, I love the content creation side of things, and the community was just so supportive. And um, yeah, it's really interesting to reflect on it now seven years in. It's um, really is an amazing thing that I'm forever gonna be grateful for because I know there's not many people currently globally that get to be in a position like I'm in, where they get to call arm wrestling a career. And um, yeah, it's really, really quite amazing. But anyway, from here, it's, it's a really nice time um, where my life is at the moment. I feel like as an arm wrestler, I'm really positioned in a position of uh, an opportunity to mature. I've, I've been through the, the novice, the amateur, the entry level pro, and develop certain weapons, develop certain conditioning. And I feel like I'm ready, honestly. I feel like I'm ready and I understand what needs to be done. Seven years in now, I think the next three years are gonna be an amazing time. Um, I think technically, I really understand this sport. And I think physically, my elbows, my hand and wrist, um, they're all really starting to get to the level of conditioning required to truly be relevant. And um, for me, the goal is to end up one of the all-time greats. I don't want to just be an arm wrestler who is satisfied at this level. I love this whole sport so much that I'm certain I'm going to be in it for 25, 30 years. So seven is only the beginning. We're only right at the beginning. And um, one day I kind of look forward to looking back at this video and going, huh, look at where I was at seven years. Um, and it'll be nice to consider all that happens. But anyway, guys, I guess the main thing is I wanted to say thank you. I wanted to be just express my gratitude to you guys that have been here and supported this journey. Um, as I turned 35 years old today, I noticed that I'm one year away from the age in which my strength coach, Todd Hutchins, started in the sport. So that's another thing that excites me, is that everything that I've done from here, I feel like is just cream on top of what Todd Hutchins started with. So it's always exciting. The longevity in this sport's a massive thing. So it's really awesome. But anyway, guys, I'm back, done the loop now, back to where I started. So I'll leave you guys here with this one, but uh, thank you very much for tuning in. And hopefully we get WAL601 away soon because I'm so ready to take on Canada's Brandon Lemon. I think it's gonna be awesome, but, and uh, who knows what happens with all this Corona stuff, whether we actually get it to start properly or if it ends up, my first tournament might be the, in the Zloty Tour again this year, which for the record, the Zloty Tour is something that I'm definitely gonna be doing again this year and answering a few people's questions. Um, do I think I'm gonna do better in the Zloty Tour? Yeah, absolutely. I'm actually walking around at like 92 kilos right now, so if Zloty Tour was to be approaching, um, there's a very good chance I would pull in the 88 kilo class. Because um, I feel like I could dehydrate to that. And I feel like with everything that I learned last year, I think I'm gonna do tremendously better this time around. So, um, I can't wait. I have no, no expectations of results other than giving it my best and I honestly I just think my best is gonna do a lot better than it did last time that's for sure so anyway guys I'm back to my truck I'm gonna go hang out with my kids again uh, have some lunch with them for my birthday and um, yeah thank you guys for tuning in and I'll see you again soon